What is going on crows? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day we finally get fish. Now these are the tester fish for the saltwater aquarium. We're heading over to Top Shelf up in Orlando. It's about a two hour and change drive from my location, which is a trip. But I'm so excited to get this done. We've been waiting months. If you've watched this entire 4,000 gallon saltwater pond build from the very beginning, you know just how anticipated this is right here. From the very start of this pond, starting from scratch, literally building these walls out, all the way to painting and of course fiberglassing and then the finishing touches as well. This pond has came out amazing. And today we're looking like this. Now, a couple things before we get out of here. If you look real closely, there is anemones in the pond. Now, I don't have the blue light yet. Blue light literally should be here before this video is even over because I'm gonna hang that just like I hung the mangrove light right there. We're also getting a mister to wash the salt water off of the mangrove, it helps it not lose its leaves. But the blue light's coming because I put in a lot of the anemones in the saltwater tank inside. They were just growing rapidly. And I said, you know what? Instead of just giving them to Tommy or putting them in some random fish store, why not just give them a shot in here? If they don't make it, they don't make it, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. The anemones are pretty tough. Imagine like an anemone this big inside the pond. It would be crazy. We'll see, we'll see what happens. This baby mama looks like a bazooka. Probably have to bleep that out because YouTube. But this thing is huge and uh, it's called the UV sterilizer. I'm also gonna have to install this at some point over here maybe, maybe over here or over there. I really wanted to leave this spot for my extra filtration. That spot is probably where I'm gonna put the UV, right there. So this thing's gonna have the most epic skimmer, a UV, some lighting, a filter, and a secondary filter all on this little pond to help keep it clear and good for the fish. And as you can see this far, it's doing really, really good. If you look really, really closely, our sea urchin is on that black pot. He likes to sit on that, I think, because he blends in with it. We got that sea urchin last video, and I told you guys to comment so that we can name it. Lots of people saying to add some extra shells in here, which I will definitely do for the snails when they outgrow it. The one that stood out to me, and it's funny because I believe we mentioned it in the video, is uni. Uni in Japan is the edible part of the sea urchin. So we're not going to eat you, but your name is going to be uni. Today, we're going to have to name some more stuff. So stick around, because we're about to hit the road and go see what we can get for this pond. All right, we made a quick pit stop before we get over to Orlando. I got a little goodie bag. All right, Gio. <sighs> Hello, everybody, by the way. This is uh, not only a congrats on having a son, but... I'm nervous. Bro. But but this is like a gift I walked by, and I could not not buy it. You're scaring me, bro. I'm scared right now. <laughs> no way, dude. Dude, no. how sick is that? No way, dude. Bro. Doesn't dude, that go hard? That is so fire, dude. That is going like right next to the cage of the monitor. Look at that thing. So dope, bro. You snapped like hard. This, I don't know who made it. I don't know, the but they who made snapped, it, dude. They had some sick stuff on what the booth. What is it? All made out of wood, bro? Ins yes, he hand carves it. That's, hand carves it. That's insane, bro. Look at even the nails. Like, that's just so much talent. So, bro, imagine you, you could carve wood like that. It's insane. Thank you, brother. We got a place to be, though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> of course, we had to stop real quick, get the good old case of beers, no thing, no Nice long ride. You gotta have some Wawa in your life. It's not oh, sponsored at all. These are just so good. So. Mm. Cheers. Gonna have to My goodness, dude. Now we're all fueled up and we can officially go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We made it. The best place on earth. Gio, are you getting stuff today? Wait, what kind of question is that, Paul? What are you gonna I was get? Tagging along with you to hang out? Oh, I didn't know. Come you know. on, bro. You getting some corals or whatever? Of course, bro. All right, let's see. Maybe a fish. It's always a surprise walking in here. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. What's going on, guys? Jed, you're gonna walk me over to this tank, the first tank we turn around and look at. I've been texting you literally for months about this fish. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, goodness gracious. That's beautiful. Look at the puffer too, that's sick. But like this, that's a big one. And then you have like so many more fish to look through. Oh, and then you got this little guy. Same species, different size. That would be really cool to put in the pond. The Achilles would too. Everything would. What are those? Those are Australian sea apples. These little tentacles are actually what's gonna feed with. Once it opens up, 
currently open. When it opens up, we'll see if it actually. What does it look like when it's open? open? That's what it looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we're so well, that's something I've never seen before. Never. My, oh my so god. Oh my goodness. Like Stingray, we gotta make this hard, gotta bro. Make better, yeah. We gotta make it hard. I think we're gonna go with solid 100,000 likes. <laughs> no, seriously, I think it's possible. 100,000 likes. 100,000 likes. We'll come get this thing right. I have high potential for this video. I really do think this one right here is gonna perform pretty well. So considering the view count, 100,000 likes is possible. I like this guy, dude. This one's sick. Yes, dude, I want this one. We got, uh, we got this guy too. All right, that's Those absolutely. Are really that thing is like so five. cool, but you want that for your pond? He just dropped something on me. Uh oh. Is that a steak? Oh. And another one? I think he's eating one. Whoa. What the? <laughs> that's awesome. Honestly, it would be a really cool thing to buy, that's for sure. Let's try to get him to unbury a little bit. Ooh. Uh, it's called a sea goblin? Yeah, that thing is gnarly. So if that poked you, you'd be... You would not have a good time, let's just say that. So they blend in in the sand like that, so you, you so could you step, step on one at the beach, yeah. Oh, that that would so not be fun. a fun time, I'll that tell you that. Bad. These are the perfect fish to put into the uh, yeah, the, the PC aquariums that we're gonna be selling on the uh, aquatic shop. Little, little tiny ones. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that whole thing right there, pick it up, bring it straight home, put it in the tank. That whole thing. The pond. The pond? Yeah. That Honestly, that would look sick in the pond. Only thing is, I'm still working on getting all the lighting, and I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to do real coral, fake coral. Probably gonna do fake, obviously. I threw the anemones in there, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna steer away from all the live coral in the pond. Every time we come here, it's just an absolute trap. I mean, this is just insane. Like I walk around trying to tell myself like Paul you don't need these corals you don't need but then I'm just like I have a 300 gallon tank at home and I do need the corals it looks so beautiful it's so hard not to spend money here it's insane So the real reason why we're here today is to get the tester fish for the saltwater pond now, if the saltwater pond works out, all these fish survive just fine, which is most likely the case here. We obviously did a water test yesterday, everything was good. Then we can come back and really process and think what we want to get for the pond. No, I don't know my whole, I really don't know my whole plan with it. I don't know if I'm going to go the whole predatory route. I definitely don't want to go any route that another creator has went on uh, YouTube. I want to be new, I want to be different. So the Emperor Snapper, it's cool but it's also something people have had. Doesn't mean everything I have in this pond won't be something you've seen before, but I wanna definitely be different. I'm not sure what the heck we should get. Obviously, we're not gonna go crazy spending money on the fish. We might get some corals over here, but not fish-wise today. I don't know, but I can tell you one thing. There's a lot of fish here. Look at those clowns. So pretty. Hey, don't be a bully. All right, get him back, get him back, get him back. Little file fish. The lighting's like brrr. Lionfish. So dope. What in the heck kind of crab is that? These are the monos. So these guys will actually get big over time. So like the chromis, like once you put a snapper in there, they're they're toasted. Yeah. Because these guys will get big, like big, and you can have an actual school of them. It's like the only schooling fish you could probably do in that pond that's not gonna get like just destroyed by whatever you put in there. Yeah. So that's what I would go with these guys. Okay, so good tester fish are these guys right yeah. here. They're only like $75, $3,000 a piece. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> we'll just do all of them. We decided to give these uh, blue and green chromis another chance at life. <laughs> because if they were to live, when I got the next fish for this pond, they probably would get absolutely destroyed. So we're going to get something that does grow. It's going to be a couple weeks till we get anything for the pond anyway. So this is going to be good starter. And they'll grow a little bit. And if I get something that might harm them, I'll just remove them and go from there. Do you guys think I should treat myself now that I'm a dad? I mean, tell me the truth. Do, do I just buy a two hundred dollars? I mean, dude, I don't know, maybe like two hundred bucks. Yeah, I think you do it. Right? I Seriously. So uh, by the way, we're in the we're in the uh, farm. We're in the farm now, the coral farm. There's coral everywhere you could possibly look. Geo's definitely getting some coral. I know I'm gonna definitely end up getting some coral. So many. Dip look at that. My goodness, the coloration. This is just a dangerous, dangerous place. Can I brush over here? Yeah. Yeah. Do it every time. I'm a salesman at heart, man. 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. We're wrong business. We're in the wrong business? It's a lot more headache than you think money. <laughs> 40 of us working here. Yeah. Bro, that is ridiculous, dude. Look at that. Grafted Montipore right there. 
That is nuts. It just never ends, man. There's coral as far as the eye could see. That thing is crazy. When these grow out, they'll get like nice reds and blues and yellows around the rim of it. And they'll just have red streaks through it. There's a bunch of different types of rainbow chalices, but this is definitely one of the nicer ones. Dude, this is gonna be epic. So this is the spot, huh? Yeah. Product reviews. Product reviews. We're gonna have two tanks going. So there's gonna be an IM15 over there, kind of budget build. We're gonna get an ice cap budget build as well. And then a bigger one. Yeah, reefer 250, I think. Yeah, That's epic. He's over here working right now. Yeah, we just had to move together. all this from our other building. So this was in another spot, and then we had to literally lift everything That's up. That's so epic. Over here. Well, this looks amazing. If you guys want to see all the product reviews and stuff that goes down inside this shop right here, make sure to check out the description. Go follow Top Shelf Aquatics on YouTube for sure. And everything that we do product reviews on, you can also find on our website, and we can ship it overnight with TSA Express. Perfect. Boom. Epic, dude. That is sick. That is some monster pajamas. Oh my God, look at those PJs, they're huge. I don't think the camera does just, those are like four inch pajamas. Usually you don't see those things that big. Okay, back on the fish topic. We're finally getting our fish for the pond. And what we're picking up is six of these monos. They're like little piranhas. Yeah, they are. They're so cool too. They're actually really, really cool fish. They're actually a brackish water fish that gets converted over to salt. I mean, that's, that is dope. <laughs> that's, that's the description. They're usually a pretty boring fish, so I'm super hyped about Paul getting these for the pond. They're gonna be the perfect fit for the tester fish. And we're gonna name the whole squad of six, half a dozen of them, tester squad. One scoop all six. Oh. All right, we got two right there. You're originally gonna get six, but another gentleman here just pulled up to the shop and he uh, needed two for his tank, and these were the only six models they got, so sacrifice two over to him, so he's gonna take those home, and uh, I'm gonna take four home myself. So, four monos coming home to do the test for our pond. The whole box spin, huh? Yeah, it's kinda hard to do the bag. I got four monos, what did you get? You got stuff too. I haven't I seen you in an hour. I know, man, it's <laughs> it's hard. When you come here, this just get distracted. I just got my little test. Got? Now we did, like I mentioned, originally it had six, but that guy was cool as heck. Yeah, he, yeah. he, he comes in like once a week right now. Yeah, so. he's, he's really cool. So he was like, dude, they sold out. I just came to get more, so it worked out. I actually ended up just giving him the other two and he was very grateful. So. I honestly totally forgot that I kind of ordered them for him, honestly. And then I'm over here and take them all. No, he's good. He got some, I got some. And he's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's yeah. getting him to test the, his tank, make sure everything's good. So now that our fish are bagged up, I had this idea for the saltwater pond. How cool would it be to do a bunch of big tanks? Like a bunch of these big, bigger, bigger tanks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think we should do theme-wise in the saltwater pond. You guys are distracting them. I was trying to get a curious question out. <laughs> Gaffaro's comment down below. I personally think it would be absolutely epic to have a bunch of convict tangs, blue tangs, That's emperor so angels. Right there, he's hiding. Oh, oh, squirrel, snapper. Like even that, we can get a really, really cool thing. So comment down below your thoughts, let me know. I'm gonna definitely go through the comments and check out what you guys think as well. We're done here at Top Shelf. Big shout out to everyone. Colson, thank you so much, bro. Yes, Appreciate it. Jed. As always, man, thank you so much. Big shout out to the team. We're heading out. We've got our fish and our corals. Oh. That was the longest four hours of my entire life. The trip went from being two hours long to four hours. We doubled the time. Through traffic, I missed two turns. Gio forgot his corals 20 minutes into the drive. We had to turn around. That was miserable. It was a fun day. We got back home. It is currently 10 o'clock at night. And uh, it was a full day of fish shopping, hanging out at Top Shelf. We're finally back home with our fish. Oh yeah, you ready boys? First fish in the pond. Oh, so sick, dude. They're going in for the acclimation. Y'all know the gist. These guys are gonna sit for a little bit. Um, tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow we're gonna actually put this 
into the pond. The UV sterilizer. And not only the UV sterilizer will go in tomorrow, but also this big mama right here. This thing is massive. But this is a big old blue light, which will be hanging from the ceiling like that. An and an anemone for our anemones. Now I can't say it right. Anemone. This is specifically for our anemone. So both of these things right here are tomorrow's projects. We're gonna knock these out pretty quick, but it's 10 o'clock at night, so we can't do that tonight. While our fish are just floating around acclimating, we can go put all the frags that we bought into the tank inside. I didn't even notice how many I got. He just kept grabbing them. Oh my gosh. Well, that was a lot more messy of a job. My hands got really sticky. Uh, I glued one up top here, as you can see. But if you look down here, we have all 15 others of our corals that we just got. 15 others. I mean, a total of 16. Last time we went coral shopping, we got 40 corals. So. Just between the last two trips, it's almost 60 corals. The tank is in a weird lighting stage right now. It's that time of day, everything's hiding. It's gonna look so, so good. Once we glue all these in the correct locations, we'll get back to this tank a different day. The 300 gallon has 16 more new corals. Now back to the fish building. Sorry, I didn't film much of that, but you've seen me place corals on rocks before. The very first batch of fish for the saltwater pond. Will they survive? Well, that's the point I'm getting them. I think these guys are gonna be just fine. Like I mentioned earlier, by the water test, this shows that this pond is ready to go. I just wanna be safe and take precautions prior to doing so. So that's why we got four fish that are gonna start this up for us. The anemones are sweet. If you come look, one grabbed the rock right there in the middle. The other one's up there. Another one's up there in the corner. Another one looks to be on the back of the rock. I mean, they're kind of just all over. As well as the hermit crabs and the snails we got in the last video on this pond. Those are also just spread out all over the pond. Opening up the bag. There's nothing more satisfying than when you get new fish. And anyone that is in this hobby, obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably like fish and have fish. Just popping a bag of fresh fish open. There's just nothing like it. Ready? Come close. Get, 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 get nice and close. Ready? Oh, the air just hits you in the face. You're like, oh, I'm just a weirdo. One of the two. Anyway, back to our fish. I'm gonna try to get them all in a net at once. Stay right there, bag, stay right there. Maneuvering around this mess. Look at all these aquarium. Oh my goodness, coming soon, fellas. Coming soon, I need a net. How do I not have a net anywhere? Hey, fish. Good to see everyone. Hi, hi. Where is a net? I never really wanted to take from the inventory of PC Aquatics, but shop hasn't even opened yet. Looks like I'm the first net buyer. PCAquatics.shop is coming soon, by the way. If you have not yet already, go down in the description down below, go to my uh, website and put your email in. Whenever I go live with the website, which like the first day two or three of October, you'll be notified the second it goes live by just entering your email on the link in the description. So go ahead and do that real quick and you won't miss when the site goes live. Let's try to get them all in one scoop. <laughs> These are so cool, bro. They look like little pompano. Like, look how tiny they are. Very, very cool fish, and I hope these things do great. I hope they just do absolutely fantastic and live in here. Three, two, one, go from the window. Let's see if we can see the fish come right out. Ready? Boom! No GoPro needed. Underwater footage through the window. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, look at them in that little school. They're swimming away. Oh my God, it's so crazy to see fish in there for the first time ever. That makes me so happy. Like that just puts a smile on my face. Wow. They look so sick in there. I want to keep them. Look, here they come. Here they come. They're right in front of that other window. Look at that. Oh, they're right in front of us. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, they're out of this window. Hey, guys. Four monos hanging out, schooling up, exploring their new house. Oh, they're gone. Exploring their new pond. As you can see, they've got a lot of space at their size. There's plenty of water to swim around in. And let me tell you, these right here are a tester fish. So it's all up to these monos here. If these guys die, something's wrong that we need to fix before we go and get anything else for this pond. So we're going to give it at least a week with these guys in here. And fingers crossed, we got our first fish for the pond though. It's surreal. It honestly is. These fish you definitely can't even see, especially from up here. It looks like nothing's in the pond still. But uh, when you look through the windows, you'll see the little school of monos. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. We're gonna install the UV filter, the light, and get a checkup on these fish. Hey guys, it's the next day. Haven't even looked at the fish yet, I'm not gonna lie to you. We'll check them out in a second. I gotta install the UV filter right here. And the UV filter is gonna be here. Another light's going up here. 
and another filter is going over there. where the water's gonna be coming out of the UV. We wanna make sure that it's in there. And now we're gonna tighten it down. Preferably I wanted to have these both over the pond's edge. That way, if we ever had a leak, it would go right back into the pond. The other side is, this side's not. But I got hose clamps to be extra, extra safe. That is not going nowhere, let me tell you, wow. UV is installed and it fit kind of perfectly to where, well I gotta put a pump on that end. But it looks perfect. It's like kind of tucked right up along the side here. So we have a big UV now. That's huge news. Shout out to my grandpa for painting this, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this is the craziest painting ever. Look at the detail. Pop-up's a beast. Whew, I'm sweating. But I'm super excited because next thing to do is hang that blue light for our corals. The very few live corals that we do have in here. All right. This is the pump I'm gonna actually be using for our secondary filter. Now on the freshwater pond, I've got this filter right here. That right there going. It's a little jankier looking, but I wanna do that same thing that I did over there, right here. I've already got all the materials to do so. It's literally as simple as an egg crate, a couple uniseals, some PVC, silicone, and uh, I'm gonna build that. I'll most definitely film when I do do that. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna know how to make a homemade DIY filter. It's literally so easy. And it does better job than the $7,000 filter that I have, I promise you that. Anyway, this is gonna be used for that, so I was just preparing this pump for action. I gotta buy the uh, certain type of pond tubing to go on that. It's, it looks like it's about an inch and a half. Yep, inch and a half. So eventually all this is gonna be set up right, right there. UV is in there, of course. Just gotta get a pump, ordered that already. Now, the last thing I gotta do is hang this light. We've got everything to hang it, as you can see. Whoop, right there, both clips. It's gonna hang just like that. Yeah, it's up, it's hanging. We've got blue light. Unfortunately, it kind of blocks the mangrove, so I'm gonna figure out a way that I like better than the way it looks right now. But the light is in, I just gotta get it plugged in. Filter, UV, light, a lot getting done in the saltwater pond. Let's take a look at our fish and see how everyone's doing. I'm gonna open up the freezer here and pop out two cubes. Someone's gotta make a better food that comes out easier than these cubes. I mean, this is... Gotta be a better way to do this. Put it inside the jet and let it defrost. And just kinda throw these little tiny mice of shrimp all over the pond. Oh, there goes a cube. Oh well. And he might come out to search for some food. It's a little tough, obviously. These fish are very, very small. There's another one. Come on, two more. They're in here somewhere. The yellow is just so much more pronounced on them now. Oh yeah, you can see them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're eating. Okay, oh they're eating the literal cube, look at. How awesome is that? I've got three in front of me right now. They are eating up a storm. There's three right here, and there's one right there. All four of them, right there. I'm trying to get them all in the same clip, but it's tough. Look at how crazy they're going over the shrimp. I love these monos, honestly I plan to keep them. If they can get big enough to where the other stuff we plan to put in here doesn't attack them, I'm more than glad to keep them. Anemone light is on, mangrove light is on, UV is installed over there as you can see. I do have the custom filter stuff like I mentioned still right here. I'll build that eventually. This pond is an ongoing project, but it's just getting better as the videos go. I appreciate you so much for watching. I do want to name the squad of monos in here, so if you're still watching up to this part of the video, comment four individual names down below. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of comments to read through, my goodness. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate the support lately, especially on this pond. Y'all love this thing, and we're gonna get some crazy, crazy stuff soon. I promise you that. PCAquatics.shop is dropping soon. When that does happen, you're gonna make sure you put your email down there so I could send you an email letting you know the site is live. You can see the fish from a distance even. Look at them. That is awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.